Good morning, everyone. Happy Pentecost. Great feast day today. Ten days ago, we celebrated Jesus' ascension into heaven. But before he left, he made a promise to his disciples. He said, I will not leave you orphans. I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit who will guide you in all things. And today, we celebrate and give thanks to God that Jesus fulfilled his promise to us. Great day, great feast day. This is it. It's the last big day of the Easter season, but it's a great feast day for all of us. Now, those of you who know me, I've been now your shepherd for five years. You know on this day I get pretty excited, and I usually come up with an overheated homily about the Holy Spirit and all that he's done in the church and what it means for us as individuals, and I try to go through all of that, and that's because you know, it means so much. And it also, to me personally, I as a priest and also as a disciple of the Lord, am very attuned to the Holy Spirit. But today I want to do something very different. Rather than go through all that, I'm going to just ask you all a series of questions, and I want you to prayerfully answer. Don't raise your hands. Don't blurt out. I want you to think to yourself if you can answer this question, yes or no. And that's it. Just want you to answer these questions. Do you love the Lord? Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? Are you hungry to know more about him and the spiritual life? Do you want to serve him? Can you, at least on occasions, sense that God is leading you. Do you ache when you sin? Do you believe that Jesus is really present in the Holy Eucharist? Does it give you joy to help someone else discover the Lord Jesus. Do you refuse to conform yourself to the values of this world? And do you want one day to be in heaven with God forever? If you can answer yes to all or most of those questions, my beloved, I have nothing more to say to you. If you can't, and you feel like you might be missing something, then I have this to say, and it comes from the Word of God. Number one, Jesus wants us all to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 1, verse 5. For John baptized with water, but Jesus says, in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And if you're not sure how that can take place, Scripture gives us another simple answer. Ask for it. Luke chapter 11, verse 13. The Father in heaven will give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him. Let's sing a prayer 
asking the Holy Spirit to come upon us in a fuller and deeper way.